Before watching this video, I'd recommend checking out part 1 first. Get to it in the link below. Last week, I made a video discussing the hardware development and oddities of the forgotten Nintendo 64 peripheral, the Nintendo 64 DD. We're going to be continuing our journey today with the system's games. I'm going to be breaking this video down into three different sections. Section 1 are the release games, games that were fully completed for the 64 DD. And, you can play right now if you have the add-on. Section 2 are games that were delayed and released on other consoles. And finally, Section 4 are games that were never released at all. Let's do it! The first game I have to bring you today is Mario Artist Polygon Studio. This game is exactly what you'd expect. It allows you to create basic 3D models with simple shapes, and even gives a surprising amount of ways to edit a simple block, allowing you to erode in indent simple shapes, something I wish Roblox would add. There's also Mario Artist Paint Studio, a game where you can paint 2D drawings in the same way as Mario Paint for the Super Nintendo. The last Mario Artist game is Mario Artist Communications Kit, but it isn't really a game. It's more of a service where you can share your creations from the other Mario Artist games. The next game to show off is SimCity 64, a solid version of SimCity where you can create amazing looking buildings and even walk around the city you've created. Why didn't the original do this? Moving into section 2 is Dobutsu no Mori, which would go on to be known as Animal Crossing. I went over this in detail in my Animal Crossing history video, but what I didn't mention is that the DD was going to be used for a specific reason. The DD had a real-time clock built in, and Dobutsu no Mori, or Animal Forest, was going to take advantage of this. Unfortunately, the game was cancelled because of the DD's failure, and was eventually released on the regular N64 in Japan. Good thing too! Again, my Animal Crossing history video goes over this in more detail. Another game that was planned for the DD is Mother 64. The text below reads, The Last of the Mother Games. If you're a Mother fan like me, these characters probably look familiar. This is the original version of Mother 3, the game that us AMERICANS still can't play had its origins on the N64DD. Through several screenshots, you can see some of the areas that were eventually brought to the Game Boy Advance, such as a Sohei Castle. Sadly, the development team just didn't have the experience to develop the game on the 64DD. The team decided to continue work on the regular N64, but this time they didn't have enough space to finish the game. The game was delayed over a number of years, and eventually cancelled. Thankfully, the Mother series didn't end there, and Mother 3 released on the Game Boy Advance in 2006. IN JAPAN ONLY! Speaking of Earthbound, its creator Shigesatu Itoi worked alongside Shigeru Miyamoto and Tsunikaru Ishihara on a pet simulator game called Cabbage. The game was first announced in 1997, described as being a game in which the player could feed and carry around a cabbage. Whatever that means. Like Animal Forest, the game would have made use of the DD's real-time clock. You want to join the project later, and because of this, the tools being used became drastically modernized. By Space World 2000, if you know what that is, Miyamoto revealed work on the game was slow because a toy was focused on Mother 64, and Ishihara was doing work at the Pokemon Company. The game was eventually cancelled due to the DD's failure. Two last games I have to show are expansions for The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Or a Zelda, translated to as another Zelda, was planned to include changed and more difficult dungeons, and new enemies. The game was designed to be a patch for Ocarina of Time, and was designed as such so that Ocarina of Time would enter through the main system, while Aura Zelda would be inserted into the disk drive. The larger of the two was Zelda Gaiden. No, not Ninja Gaiden. Zelda Gaiden would have an entirely new world and lead into the events of Majora's Mask, connecting the two games together very well, which I think is a good place to leave off. I do hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please share it around. Tondagasa!